Super Bowl is just 72 hours away. Everyone is excited. Well, almost everyone. Uh, let's check into the sports lodge. Live from the Jack in the Box studio, it's the Sports Lodge with Roger Lodge. All right, Roger, I understand you have a very special guest uh, and somewhat controversial too, huh? Yeah, this is going to be interesting. My guest, Mark Dice, has a lot of interesting views on a lot of different things. But this morning, we are focusing on one thing and one thing only. Our guest, Mark Dice, says we should boycott the Super Bowl. Mr. Dice, good morning, sir. Good morning, and I would rather have us focus on something other than the Super Bowl, actually. <laughs> when, when we have a society that knows and cares more about sports than they do about events that actually affect their lives, I think that's a problem. So I want to take this opportunity to urge people to boycott the Super Bowl, to turn it off, to, to read a book. And we can learn about some of the serious issues that affect us, the Bilderberg Group, the Federal Reserve. Maybe if we got as excited about politics and, and yelled and screamed as loud as we do for sports, then maybe we could prevent the scumbags in Washington, D.C. from flushing this country down the toilet. Let me ask you this. What about the fact that on Sunday I'm going to sit around with my family, my three children, 21, 3, and 5. We're going to sit around. We're going to enjoy a nice meal, and we're going to enjoy a good healthy competition between two teams that have worked very hard to get there. The Saints have a lot to play for here for the city of New Orleans. What do you say to people like myself who say this is a wonderful opportunity for family time? I think it's a wonderful opportunity for people to educate their families about the Bilderberg group, about the certain political issues. Maybe you should watch a documentary film by Alex Jones, watch Fall of the Republic or the Obama deception and get involved. Instead of yelling and screaming about some people chasing a ball on a grass field, how about we yell and scream about the politicians selling our country out? And now, the only, of, well, Mark, the only yelling I'm going to do is probably at my wife when I need another sandwich. There's not yeah. going to be any yelling. Wow. But let me tell you well, something. Hey, what, about two, what about too what this does for the economy and how many millions of dollars this generates with you know just a, you know in Miami never mind you know all the people ordering pizzas and doing whatever this is great for the economy well, I don't think it offsets the damage that Obama and his criminal okay. uh, okay. are doing for us uh, so I don't what? think that I'm a fan of President Bush Bush is a, is a war criminal should be in, in prison too wait a second wait a second let me get back to what all we're right, talking you know about what? let uh, me make one more point here. let me make a point Go Mark. Ahead, let Roger. me ask you this when I'm watching a sporting event with my five-year-old and my three-year-old and on a first down the Colts get three yards you need ten yards to get a first down and my five-year-old says to me well they got three yards daddy they need seven more yards for a first down there's a little education here involved as well and I don't think there's anything wrong with watching a good healthy athletic event if you use it right with your family I think it's a really good thing Mark well I think okay. sports is really the opiate of the masses and contributes to the downfall of the country. So I urge everybody to boycott the Super Bowl. Go to markdice.com and watch some of my educational videos or the other works and read a book. Turn the I television off. I disagree, Mr. Off the Dice. Couch. I disagree. All right, you know what? We're going to take this back here. Uh, Roger Lodge, right, thanks so much for your time and some unusual and controversial conversation, to say the least. Uh, we appreciate it, Roger. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Continuing on with our show here, uh, Mark Kriske, please talk to us about that forecast. Oh, yeah.